about the sewer situation over in uh, the courts, especially when Frank happens to be one of them. So it was on the phone with the commissioner of uh, BGP and spoke to them about not only Frank Court, but the other courts that may need them immediate, or immediate, it's just a Band-Aid actually, dropping another sewer line so that water doesn't accumulate where at this time of year you have the mosquitoes and in the winter you have ice ponds in front of people's houses. Uh, it's supposed to be getting back to us, we're getting up next week with some type of answer. When that answer comes, I'm pretty sure we want it to work right away. We don't want to wait any longer because we are here in the summer and this is when the state water is really accumulating. And it does cause mosquito conditions. Uh, so I'll let you know, George, when that phone call comes in. We also brought up about the uh, capital money because uh, we have put requests in for capital improvement. The MTA had actually asked us for our request in the area. We will put down, uh, I think it was 15 blocks, or was it 15? We listed 15 blocks that we're looking for uh, capital to be spent on doing a reconstruction of those streets. How near in the future that is, we're not, we're not looking for that five year plan, 10 year plan. We're looking for the next couple of years that we can take care of. So that's being addressed right now, also. And it's good the other electeds are involved also in doing that there. The more electeds are involved, the more pressure. The best, you know, the more resu best results we'll get. Uh, about that traffic pattern, I'm glad that you're bringing all the civic organizations in. You must remember Marine Madison because that's running right down most uh, down Garrison Avenue into Marine Madison. Those three civic organizations should combine together. I live right over right over there where that change would happen, and for me as a resident, real close to it, it's a concern. I don't think it should it would work. And I think that it's an awful idea. So when this does happen, we were not invited to the one that I guess the community board had held. Uh, I don't know even when they held it, but I understand it was a meeting line. So that's about it. Just to remember, uh, we have our concerts in the park every Wednesday. Anybody has any free time, come on out and enjoy. Before you leave, I have one uh, matter I want to raise. Uh, catch you one second, okay? You're when uh, we get calls, of course, about people dumping into the creek. And we respond. Different people go, we take a look, and so on. I won't go into each incident. However, I was at Kitty Beach, and someone suggested that they were dumping at No. 11. So I was on my bike, so I ran over. They were not dumping. A couple who bought a house on the water was, was cleaning a lot, everything was carefully bagged to be taken away. However, from the constant calls to DEP, one of our friends, good friends from the beach, was washing his car. And I could not put my hands on the piece, but there is a law, and DEP, DEP enforces it, you cannot wash your car in the street in New York. Now, most people had never heard of this. Never. He had not. They gave him a pink warning slip. That pink slip said, if they came back and found him washing his car, he would be fined $5,000. We can't get them to find somebody for dumping concrete and junk over the end of a barricade at our court, and they're going to give some guy $5,000 fine for washing his car. Now, they say the street, and we know the reason why uh, everyone here has a good idea. It's because our storm drains run into the creek, sure, sure. right? But who has ever been advised of that law? Uh, until you suddenly somebody well, you comes know, up like that's 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 exactly what happens. I mean, it's just like the meters. Uh, you know, how many people knew that the meters turned to 20, uh, 20 minutes? Not many. So when they find out, uh, millions of dollars in summonses were given out. So you know, this is the you know way of uh, you know. And these laws now, you say in DEP, this falls under the city. The city, you know, uh, we have a city council. And the city council has to tell the mayor, whoever it may be, that these laws have to be either addressed, addressed in a way to notify the, the, the communities, 
Okay? And if they don't, re, you know, if they don't act on that there, let's just face it, we all know, we're talking, we're talking about the fine, that's where, you know, you can't start pumping me up. I'm not the elected, but you start pumping me up for being summons to death. <laughs> that's the way I look at it. And it's up to the city council, because the city council are the persons who make the laws and they just get signed off by the city council and the mayor. All right, so there's two bodies here. Not just whoever the mayor is, it's also our city council. So that's why I ask the people, you want those laws enforced? You want those laws changed? On election day, you make sure those laws change. I think before you leave, Thank Jerry Dramlick, you, you yeah. had a question of 14 months ago at the community meeting in 277, we spoke about the traffic patterns. I spoke late in that meeting about a traffic light here in the city of St. James. Right. Ronnie Coleman said he would look into it. In Dude, which, which traffic light are you talking about? The one on you? Right here. The right one here. on Channel? Right now. Right. No. No. Yeah. 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 We so have put in many... Me. Go ahead. He said he would look into it. I hadn't heard anything in 14 months about the situation. And George, when you took over, one of the first things you said was, last yeah. year, yeah. I'm going to look into the traffic light. Haven't heard nothing about it. Okay, let, let, let me tell you. On this list of... The different follow-ups we have made, and we have not gotten a response back. Uh, actually, the last time I called Marty, he gave me his personal cell phone number, and he said, call. I'm going to continue to bug him. Frankly, and uh, this is in my notes, all of what we have here in Garrison Avenue, asphalt, lines, relines, zigzag, turn from two lanes on either side to one lane. And now this thing on Garrison Avenue to Avenue U, they're talking, uh, if you haven't seen the plan, which you may not have, they're talking about narrowing one lane down for a single lane and bike lane, what, which is gonna be taking people's life That's into correct. their hands. Mm -hmm. It all began with one simple request from this community for traffic lights. Yeah. And we have gotten Everything for traffic lights. Yeah. Everything for traffic lights. And we, we Gary, also you, put a request on, on I, Avenue I U and Garrison <laughs> for you. a signal so, there. I they never put the signal over there coming up from coming south. We put in a request. What happens that request, which we'd like to see here, they'll tell you. That goes on the federal warrant. There's federal laws. They put a study out on it. The study comes back negative. You don't know, get it. 18 months later, you're allowed to put another request in. They study the traffic flow. If the traffic flow pattern has changed, which them narrowing down to one lane, that makes a change. Because if you have two lanes, the, the flow of traffic they consider in two lanes or less, and even though it's the same volume, if you had one lane, okay, so it would be the same. So they look at the study as how many, being it's one lane, and then things get changed. Now, 18, every 18 months, you can put a request in. Now, how long have the, uh, the streets are here now? The change, this change. Yes. September 2007. Right, so it's about a year and a half now, about, good, uh, that's correct, it's just about two years. Because it was the opening of school, not this year, was the year before, I believe. 2007 is when the change came in. So, you know, it's eight, at least 18 months since the request been put in. It's something to be looked at to see if they shut it down. Now, Doreen, I know you were on staff at that time. Would did, you remember anything about that, uh, Joe? They put a couple of lines in the street to count the cars. They put the lines down to a couple of lines. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, who... They weren't even 24 hours and they were cut. They were cut? The church. So you the have... boxes were taken. Okay. Exactly. So you have a mixed feeling on it. You'll have people that'll cut the line. If they cut the line, they don't have a true... Uh, register, register how many cars actually passed. There must be another one that they can count. Well, yes. you know, the count is not only count, and it's probably, you know, the time period. They do have people sit on it, I know that. Okay, but I don't know if they sit there all day. You know, they might sit there, you know, six hours and then leave it up to the machine to pick up the rest. And if it's cut, yeah, that would be it. We could have had four traffic lights with the amount of money the table we could have cut. Absolutely. 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 Absolutely.
the, the, they put the counter out there, they cut the lines, there was chain tool, the fire hydrant, another pole, they, they cut the, they cut the uh, chain, they put it 